Micro GEN and NK0T uh, with the Rigold DSA815 spectrum analyzer. And we're going to demonstrate how to use a bidirectional coupler to test an antenna. And we have just finished testing a, uh, an ADSB antenna, a 1090, and, but now we're just going to show the steps to, to do this. And we're using a bidirectional coupler. Go ahead and tell us how this works. Okay, this is a NARDA uh, bidirectional coupler. And we're going to uh, feed our tracking generator into the input of the uh, uh, directional coupler. And then this is the reflected port. And we're going to run that into the receiver of the Rigol. Okay. We're going to uh, leave the end of the coupler unterminated. So it has a very high SWR. And we normalized the well, Rigol. But first we set the frequency, right? Uh, first thing we did was set the frequency. We turned on the tracking generator. We normalized the tracking generator. Can you go ahead and show us how to do that? Okay, so... Tracking generator is on, uh, the normalize button here, and I'm going to unnormalize it, and then I'm going to renormalize it. Yep. Just by, uh, so you normalize it without the antenna hooked to it. Okay. To, right? Correct? Yes. So, Good. Um, so now with that set up, we're re measuring return loss, and we're going to uh, measure the return loss of this uh, with a dummy load. ohm load. Okay. So I'm going to connect that up now. And Curtis, what do you do if you don't see the reading on the screen? Okay, make sure that your analyzer is set to marker mode. So you set marker and... And then it'll say marker and then it'll tell you how it'll far show down. it on the screen. Good. So we're measuring a uh, return loss of minus 29 minus, minus 29 30. 30 it's bouncing around yep. but um, so then you're going to use a chart I'm going to use a chart that uh, okay let me hold that a second this is a a mini circuits return loss versus VSWR and this is downloadable right from the and we're going to look up 29 to 30 there's 30.7 is a 1.06, mind my shake. And that's SWR. SWR. So the advantage of using uh, uh, a bridge and measuring return loss is that you can measure very low values of SWR. Very good. So now what we're gonna do is remove the dummy load okay. and we're gonna hook up the antenna. We have a, a hundred and, we have basically a marine antenna on a tripod outside of the shop and here's the cable. And we got that coming in through an LMR 400, which we could have normalized back at the antenna and, and isolated this cable, but we've already tested. We know this cable is very low loss. It's already been tested. Good morning. <laughs> Get it started. Try not to cross thread anything in, in the good Oh, well, you're getting basically there. minus 20. There we go. Okay, so we got a minus 20 to 21 dB. So, so what, is the, what does the chart, the chart tell you on that? Minus 21, 20.84 uh, 20 is a SWR of 1.2 to 1. Very good. Okay, so that's how you test SWR of any antenna. This, this Rigold's good up to 1.5 gigahertz, so you can test, uh, you know, all the way up to 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, this is uh, in the video by NK0T and W0GEN.